All right, so this is a bit of, re of a review of what we've learned so far. Again, function generator and oscilloscope. This is a plot of voltage versus time. You can change the frequencies uh, here and with these knobs, and you can change the, uh, the uh, amplitude over here, the voltage output level, the height of the waveform over there. Now, when you're reading these measurements off, you, you can see clearly here that we have 100, uh, I'm sorry, 1,000 hertz or 1 kilohertz in there. How can you verify that on the oscilloscope? Well, the way that you do that is you look at these big divisions here, these big squares, and you see that I have about one division between the peaks. One division. Over here, um, if you could zoom in on this, you would see that I have the setting set to one millisecond per division. So one division times one millisecond per division turns out to be one millisecond. That means that the wave period for this is one millisecond. And so the frequency is one over the period. So frequency equals one over one millisecond. And so you get one kilohertz. All right, and on the um, voltage setting, and of course if you change this, you can change the wavelength. On the voltage setting down here, it looks like I have it set on two volts per division. So if I'm trying to figure this out, I can't really look on this screen to figure out what my amplitude is. So the way that I do that is I look at the number of divisions here, and I have two divisions, uh, two and a half divisions up, two and a half divisions down, so that's five divisions peak to peak. Five divisions times two volts per division, it's 10 volts. So I have 10 volts peak to peak. Again, that's two and a half up, two and a half down, so five divisions times two volts per division, giving me 10 volts peak to peak. Now that is the peak to peak voltage. The uh, peak voltage, or the maximum voltage, or well just the peak voltage, really what we call it, V sub M, is going to be from the baseline up here. And so that's going to be half of that, so the peak voltage is going to be 5 volts, but the peak to peak voltage is 10. And when you try to measure this with a multimeter, what you'll find out is that you'll have to set the multimeter, multimeter on uh, AC so that you'll see a, a sine wave coming over that and you'll see that I get 3.4. Now that is neither 10 volts uh, nor 5 volts. What this is is actually the RMS voltage, the root mean square voltage. So if you take the peak voltage, which is 5 volts, and divide it by the square root of 2 for sine waves, you find out that you get approximately this number, 3.4.